Chef Palapana from Village, Village Tavern is here today to show us how to make chocolate banana crepes. And if my boys are watching, take notes because this is what I think I deserve in bed for Mother's Day. Amen to that. You deserve so much more than that, too. But this yeah, is a good start. I deserve this is a good lunch start. from Village Tavern and yes. dinner from Village Tavern, too. <laughs> oh, wow. No, is that, that's still from your family, right? It's not yes. for me? Okay. <laughs> well, it might be from sure. you, too. Um, oh, so first I thought this was something we could have for breakfast. You said we can, but it involves ice no, it, cream. Actually, this is a dessert, and this is a dessert that we serve at the Village Tavern, and um, it's it's awesome, and, and really what it entails is crepes, and if you remember the last segment I was here, I went over how to make fresh crepes at home. Right. Um, caramel sauce, which we are actually going to make here as well. Um, for all those who thought maybe it's a daunting task, don't buy caramel at the store. Make it yourself. Well, because I would just take those little little squares, little squares and, and melt them. And melt them. Uh, you know, you could do that in a pinch also, but this is really simple. All right. It takes maybe about 10 minutes. We're going to make that in the next segment? Yep, we're going to make that. Okay. Um, but um, this particular dessert uh, has Nutella. It has, um, at the Village Tavern, Chunky Monkey ice cream. Oh, that's it has good. fresh caramel, fresh bananas. Um, it also has chocolate-covered espresso beans, chocolate syrup. Do I need to say you more? Had you had me at chocolate. Let's go ahead and cut it. We're done. <laughs> we are done here. No, I want to learn how to make this part. This okay. is the crepe. Now the crepes, as you remember last time, said once you make them, you can wrap them in some parchment paper, you can fold them up and put them in the freezer and you can hold them. Okay. In actuality, these are probably about two weeks old. And so I brought these intentionally just so those can see the proof is in the pudding. It and does we'll be last able to as long. Taste how good it really exactly is. Exactly so. So you know now we have a nice little crepe right there. And you start off with the crepe in itself. You're gonna have some Nutella. Wait, are we not gonna make it today? No, we're not gonna okay. make it today. But, but we'll you know, have the recipe on the website. It is on there. It is on okay. there. So but um once you spread out your crepe, you're going to have some Nutella or other hazelnut um, topping. I really like Nutella. It has some healthy aspects to it, but it doesn't taste like it. So you're almost tastes cheating. Tastes like chocolate. Exactly, okay. exactly. So what I, would, um, what I would suggest you do is um, just let it either get to room temperature or maybe just warm it up a little bit so it has a softer consistency to mm -hmm. it. And you're going to spread out your crepe. And all you're going to do... Oh, that's a lot. Oh, yeah. We're not even done. <laughs> We're not even done with that yet, sister. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the crepe and you want to spread... The Nutella out as far as you can to about a half inch border all the way across. Now the thing about this particular dessert is it's made in three different stages but you can certainly make this way ahead of time because once you make this roll you're going to put it back in the freezer for at least six hours and let it freeze again. Okay. So we have our Nutella on the far outside nice and gooey and then you're going to take some vanilla ice cream okay. any kind of ice cream like i said chunky monkey ice cream is what we use at the chunky village tavern monkey has the banana it in has it bananas it has the um, chocolate covered nuts in it as well okay um so you can use anything that you want and when we make the final one there are a couple variations you have um you could do ice strawberry ice cream you could put fruit in here you could put um you could really do anything you want. frozen yogurt of course I think Chunky Monkey would be the yeah, best. That's yeah, what I'm you know, and I even like the sound of it. Come on, yeah, you know, it sounds, sounds better than dessert. So once you um, put the ice cream in the middle of that, and don't ask me my magic trick how this isn't melting. So no, um, I know your magic trick. Oh but I'm yes, not and give it Stephanie away. knows it too. So <laughs> <laughs> she learned the hard way though. So why not? Let's give Stephanie a bite of this one. Yes, I'll save this one in particular <laughs> for her. But just roll up the crepe gently, and then you're gonna fold the sides. Now I'm gonna need your help with that plastic okay. wrap. Okay. I might need some help with the plastic wrap too. So a wonderful helper that you are. Lay that right on the board. Okay. And you're just gonna wrap it up. You're gonna wrap it up for a couple reasons. Number one, it will seal in the freshness of the crepe. And number two, um, when you do cut it and it's frozen, it's not gonna need any other thing other than wrapping, tearing the plastic off of it. Okay, so Holds this is gonna go in for um, about six, six hours until okay. it hardens again, the ice cream hardens again, because it will be a little soft because you've taken it out to put okay. it in the crepe. Well, we are going to fast forward six hours when we come back. Yes. And then we are going to make, make caramel sauce. Caramel. Yum. Not caramel, but caramel. Oh, you know, as long as you enjoy it, you can say it any way you want. <laughs> okay.